The biggest and baddest block party in all of Los Angeles is back. It's expected to be better than ever. South LA's 17th annual Taste of Soul Family Festival kicks off tomorrow. And that means you need to get ready for some great music, art exhibits, and of course, a whole bunch of amazing yes, food. All of the above. Let's go to CBS 2's Tina Patel live in Lamar Park, where it's expected to be packed this weekend. And Tina, you're already getting that party started. Oh my gosh, listen to King this morning. It is so nice to be serenaded like this. Uh, I mean, I don't even want to interrupt him. But tell me, your first taste of soul this weekend, how excited first. are you to be part of it? Enjoyable to just be around everyone that I have yet to be able to meet through just wonderful rapport of being able to hear about this wonderful festival and being able to join them this year. It's a beautiful time. I mean, just a, a day full of music. Does it get better than that? Doesn't at all. Doesn't at all. Beautiful time with beautiful folks. I'll let you keep playing. In addition to all the music, four stages like you're on Crenshaw Boulevard, also tons of food. And I need to introduce you to Katrina Michelle. Also, her first time being a caterer here. You were telling me this is a brand new business for you, right? It is. It is a new business. Business. We opened during the pandemic and it's been great. Everyone loves my food and uh, everyone loves to eat. I know, I wish our viewers could smell it. What are you making of there? So, this is Cajun pasta and then we have shrimp and grits. And tomorrow we're going to have our famous cheesy tacos. So, it's going to be a good time. You know, we have uh, we've heard about the crowds at Taste of Soul. Yeah. Have you been before? You've yeah. been. And what is it like being able to see everybody come together and everybody enjoying so many different things? It's great energy, a great atmosphere, everyone coming together, the music, the food, the people. It's just amazing. Are you going to be able to eat a little as well or are you going to be more busy cooking? I'll probably be busy cooking, but hopefully I'll get to step away and enjoy the festivities. And even this morning, having King play right next to you while you're cooking, it doesn't get better? We're right by the stage by Albertson, so we can't wait. We're going to get to enjoy the music, enjoy everything that today has to offer. Yeah, it's such a great community event. Thank you so much. I'm going to let you finish that up because I'm going to be eating here in a second. Yeah, like, let's be honest. Why am I out here to eat a little food and taste everything and let you guys know at home that you should be coming out? It's happening all tomorrow, but we're going to be here throughout the morning giving you previews. And uh, I got to I gotta get King back in here because, I mean, is there a better way to wake up on a Friday morning? He's so good. He's guys, so we'll so, back to you. Oh, Tina, he's Let's so amazing. Yeah. You know second. it's gonna be, you know that it's a vibe. I mean, we could listen all morning, but we got a show to do. Thank you so much, Tina. That was amazing. We'll have to look him up on Instagram. Yeah, he's great. And Find that Cajun pasta again. looks amazing, I know. too. I was talking about the pasta. Yeah, all right. Well, don't forget, we will be there live tomorrow starting at 9 a.m. on our sister station, KCAL 9, and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. And then we'll be live again at noon on CBS News Los Angeles. Our Pat Harvey will be joined by Jim Hill and Juan Fernandez. Yeah. You'll tune in.